What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we got some exciting news. Finally, the global release date was leaked. It comes from a screenshot on the App Store in Korea. Someone posted the news on Discord earlier today. We will look at all the details today. Before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Let's get into it. Here we go guys, we probably have finally the release date, official release date of Call of Duty Mobile and we were really close. I made two videos on that. My last video was talking about the India release. They said November, but the website was a bit shady. And then we went back into the game for the end of the season pass. That would bring us to September 25 and why it makes so much sense that the game would release at the end of September. Now we have more information guys right here. It's a screenshot, we will look into it a bit closer, but it was posted yesterday on the Call of Duty Mobile Discord. It was taken from the Korean App Store. You see the URL apps.apple.com slash KR, I'm guessing Korea, right? So let's take a closer look at what we see here. You see the numbers in the circle, guys, 2019, 10, 2. So 2019 is good news. It means they plan to release the game this year. And don't worry, guys, we got a translated uh, screenshot in a second. But 2019, 10 would be October 2. So that means the game is planned to release in Korea at least October 2. But I'm pretty sure that would be global release when we get there. Now let's look at the translated screen. Now shout out to Slash on the Cut Discord for posting this screenshot. I don't know if he translate the screenshot himself, but at least thanks for posting. But let's read it together, guys. So it says on the top, the app is only available on the App Store for iOS device. There's Call of Duty Mobile 12 and up, depending on the country, the age will vary. By Tencent Games, expected release date October 2, 2019. So we got it free in-app purchase this content is subject to change without notice and the final product may vary so we got it guys the whole app store page for call of duty mobile in the korean app store says the game in the pre-registration page is expected to release october 2. now why does it make so much sense that it would be the global release once again i told you guys at least twice go back to the in-game season pass and you see at the top preseason one how many days left as i'm recording this it is september 1 and we have 24 days left bringing us to september 25 now that would mean after the end of preseason pass 25 of september it gives us exactly one week seven days after the end of the season pass would be the global launch so that gives us one week break from the end of the season to the start of maybe the new season or just a global release but we've been thinking for a while that there was a high chance that probably the game would release right after the end of the season right the pre-season now i know the game has different publishers for different regions i know southeast asia has a different publisher for the game but i know there also is a small chance that maybe the game will have different release dates for different regions but what are the what are the chances right i mean it would make more sense to have one global launch and hopefully the servers can handle it right usually people play on their regions i'm guessing when the game goes global people will stop playing on vpns and will play on their servers because when you play on vpn you have to deal with the high ping right so anyways hopefully it would make sense hopefully the game would launch on october 2 at the end of the season pass is the game ready i mean come on guys the, the game has been in beta twice right and it's been a while right i'm thinking the start of the summer now it's been in beta in india it's been in beta in australia and we'll we're talking like three months ago maybe more i don't remember exactly now anytime they do a beta they go back they rework the game a little bit and then they go for another beta they collect data they see 
how the players uh, play the game and how they behave, right? And now the game is in soft launch, right? I still see people say uh, global release, beta, global beta. I mean, there's no more stats reset. They said that at the start. So it means the game is not in beta now. It's in soft launch. It means they launch the game, it's ready to go, and they launch a few countries and few regions at a time, one by one, and then see if everything runs smooth, and then they add more. So they did it for two countries, and then they added Peru on the last update. Means they were, I guess they were okay with how the game was going, and they were ready to add more. I know the game is not complete, not all the content is released. I know it seems they are working on the zombie mode still, but does it really matter? Can the game go global without the zombie mode? I would say yes, and why not? Like, launch the game, let people play multiplayer and battle royale, and then later, because there's more than just zombies missing, right? The single player battle royale and the duels battle royale are also in the game, but they say content coming later, and there's more, right? Uh, the skins, for example, uh, before the previous update, some stuff was coming later, like the vehicle skins and stuff, and they added a little bit more. So yes, they can add more content later. If the zombies are not ready for October, they can still launch a game, I'm guessing. So guys, it really looks like we're ready for a global launch. The game running smooth. I mean, I play in Canada, and I've been playing since the first day of soft launch. I don't see issues for real. I really don't see anything wrong right here. So let me know in the comments what you guys think, because like this screenshot is not fake, right? So Korea is supposed to have their game on October 2. So if Korea is getting the game October 2, why not the rest of the world, right? If the servers are ready and they can handle the players, let's just go and I mean, let's see what happens. So guys, that will be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like if you're hyped for global release. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile gameplay, news, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. There's a guy over there. Your teammate is on the revive flight. And he's not a butt. We have to move. Right here? Like, if we're on the porch, we're safe. The last revive flight will arrive yeah. in one minute. Watch out, because there's another dude. So this guy is down, but he's got a teammate somewhere. Okay. Thought it was an enemy. Two teams, us plus... Two teams left is us plus four. A full team of four. There's gonna be 3v4. Alright, there's a guy there. They got me, they got me. And we have to leave. We have to leave because we're not safe. Oh, now we have to leave. Oh, wait. Okay, I need to heal this dude, man, this dude. Oh, 
Help me, boys. Yes! 